thank you so much for coming on the program. It's great talking to you, and congratulations. A big day in Texas. Right. Today's the day when every bill we passed earlier this year becomes law. So I've seen a lot of stories about the uh, the parking lot bill going into effect today, and I want to talk about that. But are there other uh, pieces of legislation that have now become law as well? Well, uh, one of the, the more important ones besides the parking lot bill is, is range protection, where outdoor shooting ranges are protected from nuisance lawsuits. And, and we've had, as Texas grows, encroachment even in the county areas so this is this is a very big deal and we're very glad that that protection is in place now also absolutely uh so getting back to the parking lot bill for a moment uh explain a little bit Uh, texas is not the first state to uh to get parking lot i i i hate to even bring this up alice but uh my home state of oklahoma got it first well you guys led the charge (laughs) you did i know i know and you're very gracious by the way i know the oklahoma texas rivalry is a, a strong one but i'm so glad that the folks in the lone star state can now enjoy the protections uh, of the parking lot bill, which which basically says you're not going to be fired uh, if you bring your legally owned firearm, you lock it in your car while you are at, while you are at work. The, you're correct. This is wholly about employer employee relations and employment policy. In in most cases, all all that I can think of, this was never a case of somebody was breaking the law. This was a case of your employer could fire you because of employment policies. Mm -hmm. And so now you're you're protected. Uh, Yes. And and you're protected as long as it's your personal locked vehicle. It won't be in your UPS truck. Mm -hmm. Uh, You're protected um, as long as the, the firearm stays out of sight and stays in your car. This is a commuter protection bill. This is not a get-it-out-in-the-parking-lot-show-and-tell bill. Right. Absolutely. And, you know, and to that end, I know that in some of the states where the parking lot law has gone into effect, there's been some trouble with uh, some businesses complying. So uh, it's going to be very important that, that people who are taking advantage of this new law uh, let you, let the NRA know if there are any problems with their employers. Well, it's been a busy day. Has it? Because there's uh, some industries, uh, petrochemical industries come to mind, that have been so far very creative. Oh, really? Like like what? Well, creative in that uh, I'm looking at four pages from ExxonMobil, which they want their employees to to register the gun, let them know how many. They only want you to carry one. Uh, they it's going to take a while for the ink to dry. So, and the Exxon Mobil's not the only one. Conoco Phillips uh, evidently believes that they're exempt from the whole thing. Oh, really? So we've got we've got some companies, most companies, as far as as a, a state with you know 25 million people. Mm-hmm. We've got most companies moving or have already moved towards compliance. And then we have a few large companies who were in bitter opposition the whole time, who have been completely involved in the whole process, who now want to put their own spin to it. And it's not even um, with a uniform voice. It's not all of the petrochemical industry. Right. Each one is uh, seems to be out to create their own thing. So it's going to be interesting. We're, we're collecting the problems. We can't fix the problems without knowing about them. Sure. So we're collecting the problems. Um, the problems will be addressed with information. And the legislature doesn't like it when their wishes are ignored or distorted uh absolutely right and that's not just a texas thing you know the indiana state legislature went back and uh, revisited parking lot legislation in the last session uh, because again there were a couple of companies that just didn't seem to get the message you've got to comply with the law and uh, so they went back and they uh they they revisited the parking lot law and made sure that those businesses are going to comply or else they're going to be facing some sanctions absolutely well the the hard thing this took three legislative sessions wow three 
close to seven years because we only meet during odd years yeah. for 140 days. So about the time you guys in your enlightened legislature <laughs> in Oklahoma <laughs> did it, uh, uh, our guys woke up and started working on it. But we've got um, – that that's what happens when you have a, a healthy economy and a healthy state. Uh, you have a strong – business and in this case strong and ornery yeah yeah well alice i, I wish you all the uh, the very best of luck down there and uh, hope that these companies uh, quickly uh, uh learn to obey and respect the law and uh, look forward to doing this again very soon we'll, uh, we'll we'll check in with you in a few weeks and see how things are going well i hope not only for the companies but for for texas gun owners because it's um it's a terrible, awkward position for them to be in. Yeah. They know better, and um, nobody should have to choose between their personal safety and their job.